Boys and girls, today I want to talk to you about some of the basic materials that we use in the art room. Um, the first thing that I want to share with you is actually pencils. Now, when we get a brand new pencil, we always have an eraser at the end of it, but these have a tendency to wear away pretty quickly. So now, when we have this worn away, we will start using these, and these are our regular erasers. They're gonna be white or pink. And I want you to remember that these are for everybody to use in our school, so please look after them. If they bounce and fall on the floor, um, kindly go and pick it up and put it back into um, the holder on your desk. But if you look at this one, somebody wasn't being considerate to our materials and they were sticking the pencil into it and stabbing it away and it actually has a piece of pencil still inside it. So whoever did this wasn't thinking about other students so again, please remember that we have to share all these materials and supplies. So putting that aside, that's all about our pencils and erasers. Next thing I want to talk about is actually scissor safety. So when you have a pair of scissors, you can see that there are two holes. One hole is for your thumb and the other is for your two fingers. And then you're safe to actually cut paper or yarn, any materials that I have for you. Remember, you're not going to use scissors to be cutting uh, things that you shouldn't be and follow our directions in the art room as to what you should be cutting. When you do want to pass scissors to somebody, the safest way to do it is to actually hold the blade in your hand and then pass it safely to your friend and then that's a good exchange. Again, let me just demonstrate. Thumb, fingers, safe to cut. I'll do it on the other hand. Thumb fingers safe to cut, okay? And at the end of the lesson, uh, make sure that they're put away nice and safely. And that's our scissor safety. And finally, glue. Now, when you get a glue stick, I want to make sure that they're not messy or, or um, sticky. So what we can do when we have been using them is just give them a quick wipe with either a damp uh, toweling cloth or just one of these tissues, okay? So you've got a nice glue stick to use. But when you have one of these, you're responsible for the whole thing. That means you're responsible for the body, which is this, this, with the glue in it, and also the lid. So at the end of the lesson, you need to make sure that you have that lid and you put that back on and click it shut so we know that it's, it's together again for the next student to use. Now this is fairly new, so this is fairly tight. When you do use a glue stick to get the glue to come up, you twist the base but I don't want to see that you're opening it up and just twisting and twisting and twisting. You don't need that much, okay? Because if you do, the glue's going to fall out eventually. When you're finished with it, you can screw it back down again and click the lid. Now, here's another thing that I've actually got here for us as well, so that when we're doing um, any sort of paper and gluing, you can actually, I'm just going to do it with this here and show you. So if I wanted to stick this down onto my black paper here, I would put it on my glue tray get my glue stick and use the tray to lean on and put the glue on that paper then I can just pick it up and then I can glue it down onto the surface that I'm working on okay so we're going to actually use these glue trays to protect our desks and also it helps to keep our fingers a lot cleaner as well boys and girls so that's a new thing that we're doing in the art room this year we're using these glue trays as well and there's one for every single student during each lesson okay and that's it boys and girls that's a few basics on scissor safety glue sticks take care of the lid as well erasers and pencils let's go and make some art now <laughs>